good morning good morning sorry it's so dark um but i wanted to talk about basically when a lot of people have to understand just because you decide to be close to god does not mean you're not going to go through a season of a storm okay we're all going to be going through storms the difference between somebody that does not have God in their life, Jesus, the Holy Spirit in their life, that there is no healing and hope in that at all. That's why they fall in depression, they fall into anger, they fall into feeding the flesh, which will be acting off of anger, being depressed, anxiety, all of these things. When you actually have the Holy Spirit and you are in a relationship with the Holy Spirit, you know for a fact, no matter what you face, you're going to be able to get through it. Now, some kind, sometimes God delivers you right through the storm. Like, you'll be like, whoa, and this happened, like, boom. And sometimes Jesus and the Holy Spirit guides us through the storm, like a flashlight. Either way, we come out stronger. God knows and understands what we're going through. Sometimes we're not delivered through something that we want deliverance right away from. But we have to understand and really trust in God. And it's a, it's a beautiful process. Sometimes it's not an easy process. But it's a beautiful one. Because you get to see God unfolding his miracles through your season. And it's, a, it's absolutely amazing. Like, really. Um, I'm actually... And, you know, once you're delivered through a storm, you're getting ready to enter a new storm. Once you're exiting out, you're going right back in. You know? Um, if you, you guys... I'm pretty sure you guys all know what I'm talking about when it comes to that. It seems like once you get through something, it's always something else. But the difference is God is there. The Holy Spirit is there to guide you. He's your flashlight throughout the darkness. You're not going to stay in the darkness. It's like you're going through tunnels, driving on the highway, you know. And um, you will have breakthroughs and there will be seasons where it's going to be tough. Now, if you read the Bible, you will see this through all his prophets and all his disciples and um, everyone that followed God. You see what they go through. You see their breakthrough. You see all of these things and that's why reading the bible is so important because it will help you through your season of what you're going through and like right now i go through many seasons like just like all of you i'm going through a big season i won't get too deep into it um but it seems like the closer you get to god the more the devil will attack you and that's why it's important to be filled with the Holy Spirit so the Holy Spirit could keep you close to Jesus. It's so important. We all have the Holy Spirit, but it's up to us to be filled with the Holy Spirit. It's up to us to allow the Holy Spirit to guide us. And when we don't do this, this is when it's easy to fall back into temptation. It's easy to fall back into our fleshly feelings. Um, all of these things that the world just throws at us that's deceiving you have to remember the devil is a liar and he's gonna come at you in any way he sees fit to bring you down now if it's a, a fake healing like new age um if it's just straight up trying to destroy you and make you feel like you're worthless and nothing and it gives you suicidal thoughts um he gives you no hope no way out of your situation these are all lies no matter what you're going through right now in life it shall pass it really will pass like I said in the beginning of this video God delivers us from storms right away and sometimes God walks us through the storm but no matter what if you have trust in your father and you have trust in the Holy Spirit you will be okay and you know this of course once in a while you might get a little angry and this and that you're only human but you know the 
shut it off really fast, right? And leave it into the Holy Spirit's hands and allow the Holy Spirit to show you. Now, one more thing before I end this video. It's important to learn your scriptures because when you're going through a battle, you got to go into your prayer room. This is your battle room. When you read the Bible, there's scriptures in there that you can whip out and help fight your battle. Now, if you want to just talk to God straight up on what's on your mind, what's on your heart, and what you need His help with, that's completely fine too. But if you learn the scriptures, this is your armor, God's armor. And it's so important to have God's armor. You speak scriptures over your family, your children, your marriage. The devil has no authority in your life. And when you understand the power you have when you have the Holy Spirit, um, filled inside of you and guiding you, you will be able to do so many things. Yes, it's important to go to church because it's it's wonderful to pray with the people. Yes, it's important sometimes um, to have people pray for you. But when you understand the authority and the power Jesus gave us and learn how to use it, your life is going to change. It doesn't matter what season you're in. It doesn't matter. Your Father in Heaven will help you through your season. If it's fast or if it's going to walk you through it. Now, like I said, speaking scripture is so important because the devil, especially if you're trying to be close to God, he's going to attack you. Now, a person that's been walking with God for a long time already knows this. But especially someone that's just trying to get back the relationship back with God or somebody that didn't know God but they want to be like filled with Jesus they're going to be attacked hardcore the devil doesn't like to lose he wants you to stay in that place of darkness and when he sees you being guided out he's going to do whatever he can to keep you depressed sad anxiety stress all of these things but let me tell you when these battles hit you you need to go to your prayer room and start praying. Now, if it's out of the Bible, or if it's just straight up claiming scripture in your own words, it's so important because the devil has no right. He's only a dog on a chain, okay? He can only intimidate you like a dog on a chain. But once you don't walk with the Holy Spirit and you're not walking with God, you are now in his territory so if a dog is on the chain it can't attack you it can only scare you it can only make a lot of noise right but now if you're in this territory where his chain can reach you now that's where you got to be careful that's where he can have authority in your life so that's why i'm telling you guys it's so important to be close to your father in heaven all right i'm gonna end it here I wish you guys a wonderful blessed day and that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing right now through my storm. I'm going through some shizzle. I'm telling you. And I got to stay close to the Holy Spirit. I got to trust the Holy Spirit. I got to trust my Jesus knowing that he's got my hand. He is my provider. He's my protector and I have the authority and the power of Jesus. So whatever I'm going through, I will defeat it in Jesus' name. God bless.